Once, in a remote village nestled among the rugged mountains, there lived a Zen master named Kaito. He was known throughout the land for his wisdom and insight. People came from far and wide to seek his guidance, especially on the matter of arrogance. They would approach him with questions such as, how can one truly know if they are arrogant, Master Kaido? One day, a young man named Taro embarked on a long journey to visit Master Kaido and find an answer to this question that weighed heavily on his mind. Taro was an accomplished scholar and believed he had achieved great wisdom. His pride, however, often overshadowed his knowledge. Upon reaching the village, he was directed to Master Kaido's modest temple. He entered and found the Zen master seated peacefully in the center of the room, surrounded by his students. The room was filled with a serene atmosphere, and the sound of a babbling brook outside added to the tranquility. Taro bowed deeply and asked, Master Kaido, how can one truly know if they are arrogant? Master Kaido smiled warmly and gestured for Taro to join the circle of students. He handed Taro a cup and asked him to pour some tea from a pot at the center of the circle into the cup. Taro did so with confidence, but as the cup filled, he couldn't help himself and filled it to the very brim, almost spilling some tea. Master Kaido watched Taro closely and said, Your cup is full, just as your mind seems to be. Taro, puzzled, replied, Master, I don't understand. What does this have to do with arrogance? Master Kaido continued, Arrogance is like your overfilled cup. It is when your mind is so full of itself that there is no room for anything else. When you believe you know all there is to know, when you think you are wiser than others, when you think you are above learning, that is arrogance. Taro pondered the lesson, his heart heavy with the truth of the words. He realized that his full cup of tea symbolized his overconfidence and lack of humility. Master Kaido then emptied the cup and said, To understand if you are arrogant, you must first empty your cup, just as you have emptied your tea. Open your mind to the possibility that there is always more to learn, that wisdom is a vast ocean with no shore. Stay humble, for it is the empty cup that can be filled, the open mind that can grow. Taro nodded in understanding and gratitude. He spent several weeks with Master Kaido, learning the art of humility and the importance of approaching life with an empty cup, ready to receive the wisdom of the world. And so, Taro's journey to discover if he was arrogant had found its answer, not in elaborate words or complicated explanations, but in the simple act of pouring tea and recognizing the wisdom of an empty cup. He left the village a wiser and humbler man, carrying with him the teachings of Master Kaido to be shared with all he encountered on his path.